I took chemistry in high school because I thought I was going to learn how to burn stuff and blow things up. That was really why I went into class in the first place. I'd done things like that when I was a little kid, and I thought, boy, I'm going to learn how to do it even better now. One of the very first things I noticed when I walked into my high school chemistry class, and I'm sure you've noticed it as well, is that there's lots of gas jets in the room. I really wanted to know what would happen if I ignited that gas jet. I'm going to show you that today. It's the only time you're going to see it this year. If you see it again this year, you will be gone and no longer part of my class. But to eliminate the temptation, I'm going to show you what happens now. My thought when I was in high school with the gas jet that you're looking at was that if I ignited it and it shot over towards my lab partner, I would be able to incinerate him. I'll show you why that's possible and then why you don't want to do it. You're kidding me. Go ahead. Oh, welcome. My methane source has arrived. So <laughs> this could be a gas, Bob. Now, I want to see if we could take out the whole school. Go ahead and light it. OK. Let's give it a shot here. You know what? That's pretty strong gas that's, jet. That's a powerful gas jet. Yeah, I like that. Let's go Turn back it. down here. Let's do that a little slower for me. Try to exhale a little slower there, Mr. Cow. I think that's about it. Yeah. That's not bad. Now, the question is, Bob, if you close it slowly, will the flame be drawn back in and this whole building go up? That was I'll something else I always wondered about. Well, you can yeah. do the experiment. I'll be back yeah, here. Yeah, if we close it, will the flame be drawn back inside? Let's see what happens. Well, darn, looks like we're going to have to go through the rest of the school day. Why wasn't it? Why didn't it get drawn back inside? Well, think about it for a second. Why did it come out in the first place? It's under pressure. It's under pressure. There's a force pushing the gas out. Why doesn't it burn back down through the pipe? What are the things you need for fire? You need a source of heat. You need something that burns. And you need ignition, oxygen. Northern Illinois Gas, or any gas company, is relatively intelligent. <laughs> They do not send you, through this gas jet, a mixture of methane and oxygen. That would be a bad thing. If they did, then in fact, it would burn back through the pipe, and you would see it going all the way down the road back to the gas company. It would be a great way to get rid of some of those utilities, but um, that's really why it won't go back through the pipe. The only thing coming through here is methane. Methane gas, flammable, but there's no oxygen there. There's also no source of ignition inside the pipe. Again, if you ignite this thing in my classroom, you will not be with me any longer. You will be spending the rest of the year somewhere else. But I did want to show you what it looks like because it's kind of an interesting thing, and it is certainly the first thing, or one of the first things I thought about when I walked into chemistry, when I was in high school chemistry, what would happen if I ignited the gas jet. You've seen it now. You don't need to see it anymore. We didn't blow the school up. We didn't kill anyone. Nothing really exciting happened, except we got a fairly good-sized flame. Now, let's take a look at methane and see some other things we can do with it. They're a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun. Um, let's start out by uh, getting someone to help us out. Uh, Mr. Methane, can you bring us a volunteer? I think we have a victim right here. Come along. From Wisconsin, where you've probably seen a lot of these. You've probably... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Right and, across the street. And the, right across the street. They're a very good methane source, one of the greenhouse gases. And, yeah, you're going to need that helmet here. And Bob's going to give you some direction. And I'll be over here as the safety point person. <laughs> so you've probably heard that before. All right, I'm going to give you a meter stick the candle on the end and just kind of keep that held up and actually while it's dripping the, ac the uh, <laughs> wax down, don't let it drip on me or yourself. Uh, Five extra credit points if you hit them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Lee's over there operating the gas jet for me. Down in the floor here I have a uh, little tray. Inside that tray I've got some bubble solution. What we're going to do is make some methane bubbles. The first couple I want you to do nothing with them, okay? I'm just going to Make a couple of bubbles, and I want you to watch what happens 
as the bubbles go. Okay. You Mr. Ready, Methane. Sir? You ready, sir? I'm ready. Take a look at that bubble. Okay, we'll send another one up. Let me give you a little hint on bubble solutions. When you make it up, leave the cap off for a couple of days so you get some of the perfuming agents out and the bubbles tend to be more stable. One property, can you turn the gas off for just a second? Uh, one property of methane you probably just observed. The bubbles do something interesting. They rise up. If your school has propane instead of methane for their gas source and you try to set this demonstration up, a very interesting thing will happen. The bubbles will not rise. Propane is in fact more dense than air and they will sink down. Not a good thing to do. Uh, now, what I want you to do, Mona, is when I release these guys, is I want you to light the bubbles down. It's really, really important that you light the bubble above my head. Uh, lighting it above your head isn't a bad idea either, <laughs> but uh, above my head for sure. I am the teacher, <laughs> and there's only one of me. There are lots of students. We can afford to lose a few of you guys. You want the lights down a little bit, Bob? Uh, yeah, probably if we could get a little darker, it would yeah. be great. Okay, if you miss it, don't worry about it. There's plenty of bubbles, lots of mm -hmm. methane. I don't think we're going to run out. Did you eat a lot? Have you been ruminating most of the day? <laughs> don't give me a bum steer, Bob. <laughs> okay. Just uh... All right. let's go. Fire away whenever you're ready. My head's down here, so I'm, any place above that. I'm milking fine. this for all it's worth. Whoa! Whoa! Bob. Whoa! I felt that. Bob. Yes. Your hose broke. My hose broke. <laughs> hey, this is a low-tech system here. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. All right, here we go again. More bubbles. Okay, above our heads. Oh, excellent. Well, that's a big one. Arr. Candles <laughs> out. Candles out. Okay, oh, that's probably enough. Maybe a couple more. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Light the candle. Okay. How are you doing with that? Can you feel the heat? I oh, can sure. feel the heat. <laughs> I mean, she's got to be able to feel it. <laughs> My ears are warm. Lots of hairspray. She could go up like Okay. A... Oh, I know. <laughs> hey, we didn't ask. Are you wearing a Raimi sweater? No. Good. Okay. We should ask that ahead of time. All right. Fire away again, Mr. Cow. <laughs> the heavy bubble. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there you go. If you can light it down by Bob, it's really cool. No, yeah. you can't. <laughs> no, you won't. Take care of your eyebrows. <laughs> Actually, it'd be a real short day if you do. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Those little ones just don't make it. This is a good bubble solution, Lee. It's about 20 years old. It was a good vintage. It's aged to perfection. That's the oh, end of I it, Bob. Yeah. Okay, all right. We're going to switch bubble wands. We actually need you here for a second. While, while they're doing that, it, Bob did mention the Ramey sweaters. Ramey is a uh, material they use in quite a few sweaters. And uh, if a flame comes near it, it can flash right up the nap on it burns rather rapidly. That's, even, that's a good thing to know while you're cooking over a gas stove for the same reason. You can become a crispy critter rather easily. <laughs> Okay, we're back over to me, and let's reignite the, uh, where'd the, yeah, what's behind me? <laughs> All right. Thank you. To make the bubbles, okay. I'd use one of these commercial bubble wands. They're not enormously expensive, but there's no reason why you have to have one. A funnel from your laboratory will work just as well, hooked up to a piece of tubing, and dip it down into the solution gently. Lee. This one doesn't work quite as well, but it still gives you nice bubbles. Oh, cool, right over his head. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's warm. Takes this one a little while to get lubricated. You've got to give it a nice shake, bubbles pop right off. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right, one more. But you can use a funnel, and they work.
to pursue. Oh, that's a heavy one. Well. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a pretty neat reaction, really, in a lot of ways. When you're talking about combustion, it's a fun way to do combustion. Rather than doing combustion as, you know, burn a little piece of paper or some of the other odds and ends things you can do, getting the methane bubbles out, letting them rise. What's neat, too, about it is that your volunteer, the student that you get up to, to ignite those bubbles, will never forget that. I mean, that's one of those things that they'll come back to your class and say, you remember when I lit the bubbles? And of course, you'll go, oh, sure, I do. Who are you? <laughs> and, um, but it, it, it's nice. The other thing is you can get the reactions in, you can start writing on it, you can talk about methane gas, its properties, its characteristics. It's a greenhouse gas, it's lighter than air. It rises up into the atmosphere pretty quickly. That's kind of interesting to get into. Um, you can bring in your own personal cow and talk about sources for methane. And in fact, cattle do produce a fair amount of methane. Termites are an enormous source of methane. So are administrators. <laughs> Indeed they are. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> There's no question in my mind about it. Uh, and of course, decaying vegetable matter produces a great deal of methane. There are some that say that methane is probably a bigger problem as far as greenhouse gases than carbon dioxide is. <laughs> 